Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see some important questions for exam in analog and digital electronic subject. This analog and digital electronic subject is a third sem subject with the code 21 CS33, the new scheme. So let us get into module 1. Module 1 is basically on BJT biasing and op-amp circuits and also some oscillator circuits and finally A to D, D to A converters. So here the biasing methods are very important. They may ask to write and explain the base bias or fixed bias and voltage divider bias circuits and they may ask to explain how the Q point is going to be selected and then Peak detector and Smith trigger are the questions usually they may ask for 4 to 5 marks. You may get for 4 to 5 marks for explanation. You may get problems on Smith trigger. And then coming to the filters, you have active filters here, low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass, band rejection filters. You need to learn the circuits out of which out of these four you will get one question for sure. Like they may ask to explain the working of those with the op-amp circuit since these are active filters we need to write the circuit with designing with op-amp and they may ask to design also means that is a problem kind of questions design a first order low pass filter design a first order high pass filter like that they are going to ask and you need to design these filters and we need to find out what are the values values required or rc and also some uh, frequency they may have given or asked to calculate the frequency like that you may get problems on this also and then voltage to current and current to voltage converters also asked in some of the previous exams so this question can also be expected sometimes and we have uh, two DAC as well as ADCs so out of these two again we can expect one question again here also one question can be expected here one question can be expected these two may be asked, may not be asked. So these are the very important questions, biasing and then filters and then coming to ADC and DAC. Sometimes relaxation oscillator can also be asked if they have not asked Smith trigger and uh, peak detector like that. So this is about module one. Here the very important question is biasing one thing and filter and then DAC and uh, ADCs. These are few of the videos available in the playlist you can see these videos link in the description of this video coming to module 2 module 2 is of digital electronics starting with k maps so here simplification using k map is very very important here this question will be there for sure in the question paper so to minimize sum of product or product of some expressions using k map and implement it using basic gates or any gates they may ask so this question will be sure in the examination we can easily expect this question so here kmap uh, related problems will be on two variables three variables or four variables simplify the expression using queen maklewski method this question is also we can expect easily and simplify using emv method and uh, these three are the problems we can expect so the theory question here is that it is uh, explain petrick's method with an example this is also the question asked for five, uh, 5 marks in few question papers previously so you can expect this question also so basically these three are very important since these are some problematic questions you need to solve the expressions and you need to implement it using basic gates this is about module 2 so these are the two videos available uh, on k maps for two variables three variable and four variables and coming to module 3 module 3 is again continuation of module 2 where here we you are going to learn uh, combinational circuits and uh, some of the combinational circuits here we can easily expect questions on multiplexer mux questions will be there and implementation using 3 is to 8 decoder is again a very important question here and also realization of functions and implementation using pla these two questions we can easily expect in exam and some theory questions like gate delays and timing diagrams you need to write they may give some delay and also they have given some uh, gates connected something like this and individually these gates will be having some delays and with respect to those you need to calculate the total delay like that they may ask on gate delays or some theory questions on gate delays and hazards in combinational circuits 
can be explained and also very important topic this will be asked many times in different exams that is priority encoder truth table this is about uh, module 3 here also you can see the theory questions are fan in fan out gate delays and timing diagrams hazards these are the things and coming to PL, PLDs and multiplexers uh, these are the implementation kind of questions they will ask in exam coming to module 4 this is a VSDL module where you need to understand how to write a VSDL code for a particular design of a circuit so here the basic question usually they may ask is explain the structure of VSDL with a simple example here in this case you can take half adder as example and you can write a VSDL code and explain how entity how uh, the VSDL constructs we have used to implement this half adder code or you can take any basic gate and explain with a VSDL code this is one thing and then VSDL code for 4 bit full adder this also asked many times in the exam this is also we can expect this time sure question and coming to flip flops flip flops and uh, latches here all the flip flops need to be learned JK flip flop, T flip flop, D flip flop and SR flip flop and some gated flip flops also we need to we, we have that also we need to be expected one question will be there from flip flops and characteristic equation and excitation table of these flip flops are important here why because these are helpful in designing the uh, sequential circuits so explain the flip flop particular flip flop with the characteristic equation and excitation table can also be asked in the exam and some theory question like uh, switch debossing how it happens in sr latch uh, can also be asked here the sure question are one programmatic question uh, like writing a VSDL code for adder or full adder or 4 bit adder or it may be half adder or some uh, for multiplexers like this we can expect on VSDL code and then coming to module 5 module 5 is about registers and counters here shift registers are the main thing here and uh, parallel adder with accumulator is also asked many times this can also be very important here and there are a few shift register things uh, these also very important here we need to how actually the shifting happens and how the circuit will be for that particular shift if it is uh, parallel in serial out or serial in parallel out and we need to design these shifters using uh, the flip flaps so these things are also important they may ask one question on shift registers easily we can expect and design of counters for this can be a simple uh, synchronous counter which I have shown here in this video using flip flop here excitation of ta excitation table of the flip flop which we are using is required and also we need to uh, do k map simplification then we need to write the circuit this is the step by step explanation I have given in this video this will be helpful in design of counters they may ask to write a 3 bit counter design or 4 bit counter and they may give uh, some counts like 1 2 then 4 then 6 then 8 then 0 likewise it should count they may ask also give that is what random count using flip flops so for these again the steps will be followed is explained in this video the same kind of steps how we need to first write the uh, state diagram uh, which state first it is 1 then it will go to 2 then 4 then 6 then 8 then 0 again it will come back to 1 like that if you write that then you can expect what is the next state if the state output is 1 what is the next state output it is 2 then you can write using excitation table you can write the truth table so this video helpful in design of counters this is also very important in exam they may ask to write synchronous counter or any random count counters mod 3 mod 4 counters like that these are few of the important questions in module 5 all these are given in the description of this video you can go and watch those videos thank you